Hello, everyone. Welcome to Business 320 Operations Management. So this semester, we're going to cover the various aspects of operations management, whether it's a, 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 an office or financial operation, medical office, a manufacturer, all organizations have very similar aspects of how they're how they're managed. So we're going to look at those different components of operations management. This course will really revolve around 10 different aspects of operations management. So we'll cover each of those aspects in depth. Um, but in this video, what I'd like to do is just give you a simple overview of what those key components are within any operations. First is the design of goods and services. So this defines much of, of what's required within an operation in each of the organizational management decisions. For instance, product design usually determines the lower limits, costs, and upper limits of quality, as well as major implications for sustainability and the human resources required to produce those goods and services. So we'll look at the various aspects, the various things that influence uh, those decisions of uh, how product is designed, how services are designed. In this class, we're going to do some exercises around design thinking so we can better understand how features are developed, how, um, how uh, agile product design works. How do we figure out what the criteria and cost limitations and, and all of those other aspects that go into our product design? Next, we're going to look at managing quality. Managing quality is very important, but it's important that that quality is managed to customer expectations and that you have policies and procedures that identify um, <clears throat> those processes that enable you to achieve that quality. Throughout this class, we're going to look at different quality techniques. We're going to look at uh, how those techniques are planned. We're going to look at concepts of Lean Six Sigma, um, process improvement. We're going to look at uh, TQM, uh, Baldridge standards, all of those different tools that are used to manage quality. Process and capacity strategy is another key component. So this is determining how goods, uh, how a good or a service is produced. Um, the process for production, in other words, and how commitments to management, specific technology, quality, human resources, capital investments, all go into those basic cost structures. So we're going to look at how those decisions are made and how we measure uh, process and capacity strategy. So with each one of these aspects of organizational management, we're going to look very closely at how those things are measured so that we know we're achieving our goals. Location strategy. So location strategy requires uh, judgments regarding the nearness, not only that you have to your customers, but to your suppliers, uh, your talent that you're going to recruit within your organization, while at the same time having to consider your costs, uh, considering your, your supply chain logistics, both internal and external, as well as how government regulations might influence your location decisions. Next, we look at layout strategy. So layout strategy requires integrating uh, personnel levels, technology, um, and inventory requirements to determine efficient flows of material, people, and information. In other words, it's looking how, how we orchestrate all of those pieces within organizational management within a layout strategy. Human resources and job design. This is a very important co uh, component of managing an organization because after all, organizations are made of people. So this is, uh, so within this, we determine how we recruit, motivate, retain personnel. What are the requirements for that talent? How do we select talent? Um, how do we manage people? How do we manage processes um, within the teams uh, that, that make up a lot of the special projects within an organization? 
Um, within this, we're also going to look at aspects of project management and, and different project management techniques uh, that are used in different types of industries. Next, we look at supply chain management. And supply chain management, we have to think about it in two different ways. In one way, we think about um, all the supply chain uh, management aspects that occur within the firm, you know, whether that's uh, looking at flow within a factory floor, processes within our own office. But then we have the external supply chain, which involves getting goods and services to our customers, as well as working with our suppliers and, and integrating both those internal and external aspects of the supply chain. Next is inventory management. And again, as, as, as much as the last aspect looked both internal and external, so does inventory management because we try to reduce costs internally, uh, right? We want to we wanna bring down the costs of inventory as much as possible, but make sure we're still meeting customer demand. That also involves us working with our external supply chain because a lot of organizational functions rely on extending inventory management to both your suppliers and in some cases your customers. Next is scheduling. All of these aspects of operations management require some kind of scheduling. And that scheduling has to be carefully done to make sure there are no gaps in processes, gaps in service. Um, so this is looking at both scheduling of people as well as goods, services, orders. Um, so this is a very important aspect of how we organize. Within this, we're also gonna look at the types of technology that are used to organize scheduling, how uh, organizations coordinate their information of both people, goods, and services, and orders, and customer interactions, and how those are managed through technology. Maintenance is a very important part of any organization. So whether it's a service organization or a large-scale factory, it all requires some type of maintenance of equipment and assets. And so we're gonna look at what are some of the things that are considered uh, in maintaining um, a, a good maintenance schedule for all of those things. So these are the 10 core things that we're gonna concentrate on within this class. And I hope you enjoy this class. Um, we're gonna go into depth. Uh, in fact, these 10 aspects are gonna be used as a final project within our course, um, where we'll be interviewing um, management uh, companies, managers, and asking their input of how they apply these 10 things to their organizations. So until our next class, um, I hope you enjoy the beginning of our class and throughout and again, as always, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Until next time.